It is the 6th of March 2024 and today I'm going to ask the question is the world going fucking mad or is it me? But first I'm going to explain why I don't make so many videos anymore because every now and again I do get people asking why I don't make videos anymore. The main reason is because Google shut me down. Obviously I had 30,000 subs and 18 million views on my original YouTube channel but Google didn't like a lot of the stuff that I was saying. They were taking videos down and oppressing my work regularly. I wasn't allowed freedom of speech. You have got no freedom of speech. You've, unless you're saying what they want you to say, then you've got loads of it. Like Piers Morgan, when he's telling everybody to have the vaccine and all this shit. And, you know, people like that, in my opinion, should be in prison right now, bullying the public into taking a vaccine that everybody knew wasn't safe. And now there is dangerous side effects from it, including clotting in the veins and white blood cells and all this shit. I mean, do your own research into it because the media are not going to tell you this shit because the media wanted you to take the vaccine at the time. So you're not going to get no honest journalism out of the mainstream media nowadays. And if you think that you are, then you obviously haven't been taking much notice of the mainstream media because the mainstream media in Britain is no different to the mainstream media in North Korea or Russia. It's a government mouthpiece for the best part, for the vast majority of it anyway. Well, all the mainstream. You might have uh, some alternative media that might give you some truth. But even them are being oppressed now by people like Google who make it very hard to find stuff like this on the internet. Like, and They want you to see everything from their point of view. And their point of view is pretty much absolutely ridiculous. And the vast majority of people that live in the whole world, to what I've spoke to anyway, do think that it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's very rare that you come across somebody that thinks all oh, this shit is a good idea. I mean, it just tends to be a few young idiots that have just left college and really have no idea about the world. And they don't have no idea about the way that they've been manipulated and brainwashed into thinking the way that they think. I mean, you know, the mainstream media, you, you know, they're taken to school, then brainwashed at school at a young age, then they're taken to college and universities and brainwashed even more. And then the, the social media is just reinforcing the beliefs nowadays because there was a time when social media used to open your eyes to things. But now, because of the way social media works, most people are following what they want to follow and not following things that don't agree with. And they're just basically having the beliefs reinforced to them every single time they go on Facebook or watch YouTube. Just people saying what they what they want people to say because that's the sort of uh, things that they've liked, and that's why they uh, and that's why they end up with these videos on the feeds. You know, it's uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. But Google and the rest of the mainstream media have obviously started this ridiculous ideologies that they've been starting recently and you know anybody who disagrees with them is an extremist or transphobic or homophobic or racist but really I look at it like this they're the extremists they're the racists and they're the heterophobics so it's like you know it's got nothing to do with uh, the people the people are no different now to what there was 20 years ago for the vast majority of them anyway I mean the I mean obviously the youth have been brainwashed into believing that they are fighting some sort of good cause where blocks big men like are allowed to take part in women's sports and you know get changed in women's changing rooms and shit like I mean they actually think that by fighting for the the rights of these people they're actually doing a good deed but to me, they're not doing a good deed, and the only people who I think that you should really fight for the rights for is the poor and the oppressed, and that doesn't matter where they are. That doesn't matter if they're in Africa or in the United Kingdom or the United States, because, you know, considering Britain and America are among the richest countries in the whole world, there's still a lot of poverty, a ridiculous amount of poverty in both of those countries. I mean, I was watching a video recently of Philadelphia on a... YouTube and it was just a man walking around the streets or driving around the streets of Philadelphia filming f filming it and nearly everybody there it was like it was like a zombie apocalypse honestly nearly everybody there was fucked and living in ridiculous poverty and addicted to drugs and you know th these are the people that should be helped 
realistically. I mean, these are the people that, that need help, but these people are being swept aside and brushed aside and replaced with cheap foreign labour. And that's what it's all about. It's all about cheap foreign labour. And that's why it's always the corporations and the governments that are uh, promoting this bullshit. I mean, you know, Tony Blair said years ago we rub the nose in diversity, and now you're seeing it, they're rubbing our noses, our noses in diversity. And immigration is causing people to to have to work for less because there's cheaper because there's cheaper alternatives coming into the country who are willing to work for less. And you know, it's all helping rich businessmen and businesses. At the same time, it's oppressing the people that have lived here the whole lives and been paying tax the whole lives. I mean, I have been criticising the actions of Britain and America for years, but I refuse to accept that it's the working class people that have got to be blamed, other than the ignorance of the working class people, which, uh, which I will admit to, there is a level of ignorance to the vast majority of working class people in, in the United States and the United Kingdom. But other than that, I mean, the white people are the victims in this, realistically. I mean, you know, the, like I say, Google are calling anybody that disagrees with their ridiculous ideologies as extremists and racists and transphobic and all this shit. But they're the ones that are extremists and racists and heterophobic. It's as simple as that. <coughs> and it's having a dangerous effect on Britain and America and you can see it's happening you can see that it's a case of divide and conquer if they can divide us that makes us weaker and easier to conquer because instead of us looking at our common enemy which is the government and the oppressive corporations that don't pay no tax people like Google that are registered in Ireland so they barely pay any tax in the United Kingdom and I don't know how they work in the United States but they probably barely pay any tax in the United States as well now, because of uh, because of stuff like that, I mean, that's the thing with these people. They go on like them doing this out of the goodness of their hearts and because they think it's the right thing to do, but it's not. The right thing Google should do is pay the taxes, a fair amount of tax, like in line with the rest of us, which is 40% on high earnings like Google, and shut the fuck up. And, you know, basically show us the internet as we want to see it. Like if we Google something, but like, like the recent AI program, Gemini, what they've had to shut down pretty much because people was asking it to make pictures of Vikings and these Vikings was coming out black and the Nazis was coming out Asian and the Pope was coming out black and as, as a woman, one of the pictures, I mean, come on, it's totally unrealistic and ridiculous thing. But to me, I mean, I've always been against AI and to me, this is why I'm against it because realistically, you can program AI to say whatever you want it to say, they can. They can, you know, that's, that's all it's about. That's why AI will never give you a decent answer, realistically. If you ask it a, a controversial or a tough question, it will always come out with things like, oh, I, don't, I can't reinforce stereotypes and all this shit. And, you know, it's just absolutely ridiculous. AI is absolutely a stupid idea that's not going to work because it's too easy to be manipulated like everything else is manipulated by these people and the people who are manipulated the most is obviously the people that are waving rainbow flags all over themselves and everything like that and thinking that this uh, trans movement is you know a, a worthy cause to fight for I mean and it's not Every man in this country has the right to uh, dress however they want. I could be wearing a skirt right now when I'm making this video for you. Know, at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck how you dress. And, but it's the the extras that the wants that is getting on people's nerves. Like the fact that men want to take part in women's sports just because they wear a dress and shit like that. And he's like, come on. And this next generation of youth coming up, you know, when... When they have it explained to them like this, their automatic reaction seems to be to scream violently in people's faces because they haven't got a decent argument back. It's as simple as that. I mean, 
like I say, I don't give a fuck how any man dresses at the end of the day. I mean, I, I see people around by where I live, a couple of blocks who walk around dressed as women. It's a very small proportion of people. I'd say it's much less than 1%. But there is a few. And, you know, nobody's violent towards them. You know, they're all treated pretty much the same as everybody else. And, yeah, we might laugh and ridicule them sometimes, but that's what everybody's doing to everybody anyway. Why should these people be exempt from... Uh, having the piss took occasionally, it's just a joke, and, you know, the, the schools are brainwashing kids into all this sort of shit, and the teachers are all into these stupid ideas as well, and it's really quite concerning in my opinion anyway, because what's happening is, and because of this, is that we're ending up with people that think it's alright to hate white people, and it's not alright to hate white people, it's no different than hating anybody. If you're racist, you're racist, you don't matter who you're against. People who are hating white people now because it's sociably acceptable to hate white people now are exactly the same as people that hated black people in the 1920s and shit like, because it was sociable, sociably acceptable to hate them then. You're just exactly the same, so you're just the same as the people that you claim that you hate. But I might add on to this later, anyway, I want to keep the video down. Uh, in length for little people. Thanks for watching. Cheers. I'm out.